Guys, oh my God, I almost killed myself. I'm tripping. I went down the one way, the wrong way. And we can arrive the book and share that beat of love. I want to ride. We are on our way to the airport to um, go to Houston, H-Town, baby. So by now you guys should already know where I'm going and you should have an idea of the fits that I'm bringing because I just recently posted a video of my outfits or some of the fits that I was thinking about bringing on my quick little trip. So this trip will literally be like 36 hours, 48, less than 48 for sure. Um, it's, it's a very short, quick trip. Just something to just, you know, just enjoy some good weather, good vibes real quick. So we land in Houston late. We land at like 10 o'clock at night. So already today is gone pretty much so our day really don't start for real for real although we do plan on going out tonight but our day really don't start for real for real until like the following day and then the day after that is when is when we are leaving to come back to new york so yeah but i'm very excited to go because i've never gone to Houston before and I've all right girl and I've always heard that Houston is a good vibe and people be knowing how to get down in Houston I heard that the food is really good as well so I'm excited y'all I really am excited to try the, the food to see what vibes they got out there you know and just just soak it all up when i tell you i was a struggle first of all i live an hour away from the airport and prior to me going to the airport i had to get my feet done like my feet looked terrible and i hate getting pedicures done in my area because they don't know how to do it shit they don't know how to do nothing called pedicure i give them with the nails but the pedicures they know nothing about so and i like to come to queens right all right girl we heard you okay i heard you i like to get my feet done out here in queens because they just do a way better job period and since i'm already you know obviously coming down here for the airport i just made sure i left my house early enough so that i could stop and do that and then head to the airport so we got that done and now we are heading to the airport I haven't traveled in it hasn't been that long but it's been that long like last time i went away somewhere was in november so what's that november december january february march that's four months so it's time for a quick little trip. I also did my makeup <laughs> prior to the airport. I've never done my makeup before going to the airport before because what's the point? But this time I had to do it because like I said, when we land, we land super late. We already land at 10 o'clock. By the time we you know, get our stuff together, pick up the car and then head back to the hotel or head to the hotel to like, you know, you know shower whatever i won't have time to do my makeup and do like you know the shit that we need to do to get ready like i won't have time to do none of that so i started my makeup so i did an you know like a natural ish beat my go-to beat so when i do get to houston like when we do get into the hotel all i have to do is just touch up and then um flat iron my hair real quick because it did started like raining a little bit and my hair got wet so it's now a little 
bit poofy, but that's fine. So I'm just going to um, re-press my hair a little bit. And, ooh, my God, Hook Creek Fix Your Road. But let me call y'all back because I'm starting to get lost and I have no idea where I'm at. So I'm going to hit y'all in a bit. Ground on it, anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Let the old and the call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on it. Show them gang, I'm star, put the gang on him. Twist my fingers up on a bang on him. Let the old, let the old, yeah. Tobalo, go macho, yeah. Tobalo, my go macho. Nobody know tomorrow Choro, ka choro And if a boy feel macho Make him look red like a tomato If him not dead then he call matos No, go fambu As the day comes As I go on God don't watch over Okay, so I gotta talk about my favorite restaurant so far in Houston, The Breakfast Club. Their food is amazing. So good that we went there twice, right before we got on our flight to head back home to New York. But the food was A1. The ambiance was 
regular it wasn't much aesthetically pleasing about the restaurant itself besides the fact that they did display a lot of black art work um, but besides that it was just a regular breakfast spot the food was very good the service was a1 and very quick so i highly suggest going there if you're in houston Hey guys! Okay, so today we came to Top Golf to um, shoot, I guess, some guns. This is my first time ever being here, but I'm excited and I'm also very scared. But this should be very fun. So, yeah, we're about to see what's good. <laughs> I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue Big You just want to send me automatic with a drum Ask me if I'm finished now, nah, cause that just begun nah, I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun Are you dumb? Uh -uh. Who the man? I don't know no other man Like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands I don't even got me a hundred pieces yeah. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans <laughs> Give me that song Hey, 
My past can't escape me. My pussy precedes me. My my how the time seems. I'm still playing. Okay, so we're literally at like the second spot of the night or third spot of the day. Uh, we're at this um, place called The Address. Apparently it's like a nice brunch spot and they sell good food, good vibes, and they do like a day party. So we're about to see what it's given. So for our last day, we didn't do much. We went and had breakfast at the breakfast club again for breakfast slash brunch. And we also went to a hookah lounge called Cafe Leal right before we headed back to the airport to catch our flight. So that's the end of our trip, guys. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, thank you. Bye.